A few days ago I made a video where I highlighted nine of my favorite terminal color schemes. Well, color schemes for not just terminals, but also text editors as well. And really these terminal color schemes, they could be applied to all kinds of programs such as Kaki, such as your window manager, your window manager's panel or bar. And that's kind of what I spent the last few days doing. I took those uh, nine terminal color schemes and I've made configs for Kaki, XMobar, Dmenu, Alacrity. I, I've made the ability to switch to any of those nine color schemes and all of these programs. So in my Alacrity config, if I open my Alacrity config here inside Vim, and let me zoom in here, and if I scroll down a little ways, you see start of color schemes, and then the first one, Doom 1, this is the Doom 1 colors, and then Dracula, and there's the Dracula colors, etc., etc., and I've got nine different color schemes, all nine color schemes from the video from the other day, and you see, I listed them here, the available themes, and what you need to do is this line here, colors, colon, and then space, asterisk, and then the name of the color scheme. We've chosen Doom 1, but if I wanted to, I could actually go down here, and I could actually change, for example, to uh, Dracula there, if I I could spell it correctly and there you go it immediately changes alacrity to the dracula color scheme you don't actually have to close alacrity and restart it it's just a, a, a hot swap right there <laughs> so and that immediately changed to the dracula color scheme i wanted to change my x mobile panel to one of these nine other color schemes I, i've configured that that is done through my x monad config so what i would do is i'm gonna launch doom emacs and Doom Emacs is using the Doom 1 color scheme. If you wanted to change color schemes in Doom Emacs, do space HT. You'll get a listing of all the themes available in Doom Emacs. I'm just going to uh, search for Dracula. Oh, I guess I did not type that right. There it is. And then switch to Dracula, and it immediately switches over to the Dracula color scheme in Doom Emacs. Now let me open up my Xmonad config, and let's go ahead and change the Xmobar to the uh, uh, Dracula color. So I'm gonna scroll down here to the end of my config. And at the end of the, my config, I'm launching uh, three different XMO bars on three different monitors. But the one I'm recording here, doom one XMO bar RC, these are the Doom 1 colors. But again, I've created nine different XMO bar RCs for each of the nine different color schemes, including Dracula dash XMO bar RC. So let me save that and export that to xmonad.hs and then Restart Xmonad, and you see Xmobar now has the Dracula color scheme. Alacrity has the Dracula color scheme. Doom Emacs has the Dracula color scheme. And lastly, if I wanted Conky to have the Dracula color scheme, uh, let me go to the top of the document here to my auto start hook. I have Conky, and then the location of the Conky config. I have nine different Conky RCs depending on each of the nine colors. So I would just, uh, it, this is originally doom oneconky RC. I change it to Dracula 01.conky RC, and that should, well, if I make these floating windows, will change this, which is currently using the Doom 1 colors. That should change it to the Dracula colors, but because we've already uh, launched it, I'd have to actually kill the conky and restart it from the command line. Or what I could do now that I've changed this, I'd have to actually log out of Xmonad and log back in to make the conky change take effect. Now let me switch to a, a different monitor here. The one last thing I, I spent today doing is I wanted the ability to have D-Menu also honor the nine different color schemes. Now that's a little hard to do because by default D-Menu to change color schemes, you actually have to edit the source code for D-Menu. So let me open up Doom Emacs and I'm going to go into my uh, GitLab repos because I have a whole bunch of GitLab repositories and one of them is called D-Menu-DistroTube. And let's just open that directory here inside GearEd in Emacs. And you can see this is the source code for Dmenu. And I've patched my build of Dmenu to, to do several things, including have some fancy colors. I've got uh, fuzzy highlighting going on, more colors as well. It gives you the ability to set some different highlighting options for colors. But let's go into the config.def.h. And if I go into the config.def.h, you see I have 
this section here. Select your color scheme, kind of like I had in the Alacrity config. I've got uh, these available color schemes, Doom-1.h, Dracula.h, Grovebox-dark.h, etc. And what was here before was a block of various code that uh, set your colors. Now, instead of having a block of code that you'd have to come in here and change all of the uh, color options, I've included this line here. Include and then the location to the source code for this. And where the source code is going to be located is actually when you install my build of D menu, it should put this in slash opt slash D menu dash distro tube slash colors slash and then name of the color scheme dot H. For example, doom one dot H. Or since we're changing to Dracula, let's do Dracula dot H. And then actually, let me CD into uh, that directory. And I'm going to do a sudo uh, make clean install and and remove config dot H. And if it builds correctly, and it did, now my D menu should also have the Dracula color schemes, which that is definitely the pink from the Dracula color scheme. If I uh, start doing a search, yeah, you can see I've got some of the green highlighting as I'm typing ALA for Alacrity. Now, if I wanted to, I could go over here to Alacrity, and many people don't know that you can do this in D menu. You can actually do multiple selections inside D menu with control return. So if I do control return while I'm highlighting the word Alacrity, I just selected Alacrity to launch, but I can go and search for something else to launch as well. And you see the Alacrity is blue in color. I've set that in the config. And what will, that will happen is when I find something else I also want to launch, for example, also Mixer, you know, I could do control return or just return and it should launch all of that. Of course, also Mixer is not going to launch because it has to be launched inside a terminal. You can't just launch it directly from D menu. But I just wanted to briefly highlight that you do have the ability to launch multiple things from D menu at a time. And once again, editing this line, this include line and config.def.h if I wanted to change from Dracula over to uh, solarized light. You know, I went ahead and, and again, I've got all nine color schemes available, not just in Conky, Xmote Bar, Alacrity, and Doom Emacs. I also now have that ability in D menu as well. So now I just need to recompile or sudo make install here. And now I've got the uh, solarized light color scheme here. And once again, if I do control return to do multiple selections, you see that's the blue from the solarized theme and the pink from the solarized theme. And of course, it's going to launch Alacrity since I had it selected. So I just wanted to highlight uh, some of what I've been working on because this actually took some work. You know, I spent a few hours actually uh, because I didn't originally have all these color schemes available for my Exmo bar and for my Conky and for my D menu, but I, I thought it was important to have this as an option, especially for DTOS, which is my post installation script for Arch based distributions, because, you know, color schemes, they're kind of a personal preference. And I know what I like, it's not going to be what you like. So I, I think having nine different color schemes, and these are really fantastic color schemes, I think everybody's going to be able to find one that will suit their needs. Now before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of the show, Gabe, James Mitchell, Paul, Scott, Wes, Akami, Alan, Chuck, Commander, Angry, Kurt, Diokai, David, Dylan, Gregory, Heiko, Lee, Max, and Michael, Mike, Nitrix, Erion, Alexander, Peace, Arch, and Fedora, Polytech, Raver, Red Prophet, Steven, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This quick episode about me playing around with color schemes again, <laughs> this wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. All these fine ladies and gentlemen gentlemen. They help support my work over on Patreon because I'm just sponsored by you guys, the community. I don't have any corporate sponsors, and I like that. It allows me to be independent. I hope you guys will consider supporting me over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.